Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here to talk to you about this uh, Guahong 8x8 banner backdrop stand. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration for it. I'm not actually going to show you how to build it. I will go over the pieces just so you get a clear idea of uh, what piece is which. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you the stand actually set up. And then I will go ahead and uh, explain to you some of the key details about it. So stick on with me. So the first thing I want to mention is uh, it comes in this nice carry case. If you see, it's got two handles. It makes it easy for you to carry wherever you need to go. And then if we look inside, it comes with four Velcro straps that let you uh, hold it all in place and make it easy for you to store and uh, carry it along the way. So right here, we have the instructions. Um, I'm gonna go over these in a few seconds. Um, then we have what is the two feet, I guess you might wanna call them, which is how the stand, where the stand gets its support. Then we have the actual poles. Go ahead and just slide them out one end. The uh, long ones kind of cause an issue getting them out, but they still come out pretty easily. So, you have two really long ones. And these, in the instructions, they're going to call them the uh, pole A. And they're recognizable because they have basically two parts that uh, extend. These, these, this is where uh, you get the telescopic part. So those are the A. And then it really doesn't matter, the other two, which you want to call them. You just have to make sure that they're the same. So uh, in this case, we're just going to call these B1. You'll see that one end has the part that screws in to this A, where the holes are right here. And then the other end is going to have for the screw. And that goes with this. So if you see, these actually have two caps, plastic caps, over the screw portion of it. Let me just take this out here. Alright, so sorry about that. It took me a second. But as you can see here, I've removed the cap. They both have one. And like I said, this, the B1, you can say, has the part that goes or that gets screwed into. And then this actually has the part that screws on. So like I said, we're going to call these B1 and B2. It uh, is arbitrarily given, so it doesn't really matter. Because at the end of it all, you're going to screw these in together. And then these ends are going to actually go into the longer ones, which is the A. So then, the next thing you also get is the screws and such. So what you're going to have here, dump them out real quick. You're going to have four screws with knobs that those will be where the uh, joints connect, I suppose you can say. Then you're going to have these screws which go from pole A into the base or the stand of the feet and then they give you this allen key to go ahead and tighten them up. And then here is where I will show you the instructions. So you see here I actually went ahead and uh, added a few things that might help you to uh, work it out. The first time I tried it I tried it without these and uh, it kind of took me quite a while. So I did this to better help anybody who watches this. So like I said, the A, the B1 and B2 are arbitrary. You can switch them out. All you need to know is that each section, so the bottom and the top, are going to be B1 or 1B1 and a B2. And then the long ones are going to be A. And you can sort of see it in this picture. There has like little rotating arrows which implies that's where the telescopic part is and that's where you would extend it. And then if you see, 
gives you the knobs, tells you where they go at each joint, tells you that the uh, feet have a screw and you have to use the Allen key. And then the bottom part is simply saying that for the 8x8 banner, there's actually going to be a line where it shows you the uh, 8x8 so that you know roughly where it goes if you use a banner that's that big. All right, so let me set this up real quick for you and then I'll talk more about it. All right, so if you see here, I'm going ahead and uh, built it behind me. So I'm not standing next to it. I'm five foot seven and you'll see the difference in height. Uh, one thing, a couple things I want to say, when you go ahead and build it, make sure you always build, build from the bottom up. So in other words, this, or this last pole is the very last one you're going to go ahead and lift all the way up. So in other words, you're going to go ahead and do this part first, put it to the legs, then you're going to go the bottom pole. So I know this is the top one, but it's the same top and bottom. So you're going to put this one, uh, you're going to attach it to the two legs. Like I said, only extend up to right here. Uh, this one, keep it all the way down. And then once you've done that, go ahead and put this pole, connect it to these two right here, and then go ahead and lift it. That's the best way to do it. Um, pretty much it'll be the fastest way. So the first time I actually tried this, it took me, uh, I want to say a little bit less than 30 minutes to do so. And the reason is on this A pole, um, I kept mixing it up for whatever reason. This A pole, the top is going to be flat and the bottom is going to have a rounded curve, which goes into the two legs. Um, one of the good things about this is that if you want to extend it to its max height, which is max height and length, uh, it's actually marked. It has silver. It's a silver line. That's what the instruction tells you. It's a silver line that you pretty much just screw it right there and you'll get the maximum um, height and length without losing any stability. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick, the silver markings, and then I'm going to show you the amazing thing about this. So real quickly, this is what I meant by that silver line. So you see it's right here and uh, some of them actually have the eight by eight telling you pretty much that's where you extend it to and you'll get an eight by eight banner. So another thing, if you look over here, this is the B1 and B2. So this is actually the bottom pole. You have the uh, telescopic joint right here. Um, you have the A has one and then two. And uh, this is actually over here, what took me the longest the first time I tried it, because this will sit, you'll see a little hill on it, and this will sit on there, and then the screw actually goes underneath, and they actually give you an Allen wrench for you to uh, screw it in. And if you see, these have the knobs at each one. Um, one word of advice, never, never screw these all the way, it'll... Uh, create, uh, I don't know, for some reason it'll create some tension that'll make it hard to unscrew the next time. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you me standing next to it. All right, so the absolute fastest way that I found setting this up is like I said, start with the legs. Um, so pretty much the pole A and the legs, then move on to the bottom B, and then without extending this top pole, go ahead and uh, connect the top B1 and B2, and then once you've done that and connected and screwed it in, go ahead and lift it. Uh, if it helps, try to do it flat, or so, in other words, lay it down and then go ahead and lift it up. Uh, like I said, the last step you wanna do though is the top parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the full height. So uh, just go ahead and watch. <laughs> So if you see, I have plenty of space above me and uh, next to me, it's eight by eight, which gives you a nice presentation space. And now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a small example of what it looks like when you use the best part of this. So if you see, I've gone ahead and uh, used a backdrop. This is uh, Disney's Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Jack Skellington on the hill that's in the graveyard. Uh, the best part about this product, I've mentioned it a few times, uh, not specifically, is the telescopic poles. This isn't an 8x8 banner. It's, uh, 
I don't know, four by six, four by seven. Uh, and the reason I'm able to do this is the telescopic poles. Uh, obviously this is separate. It doesn't come with a product. This is just an example so you can see what it's like. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out simply so you can see what I mean. Uh, and right here, about right here, let me go a little higher. All right, so if you see here, the best part about this banner backdrop is the telescopic poles. It allows you basically to adjust it to any size you need, uh, smaller than eight by eight. Um, and you can tell, like I said, this isn't an eight by eight. And right here, you can see the space is different than uh, this part right here. And that tells you that I shortened it on that end, as well as right here, you can't really see, but this middle joint is only this long. So, I mean, if you compare to that, there's a lot of space that I had to cut down and it actually could go lower. The bottom is empty. I just raised it up so you can see the banner backdrop. And one thing I gotta mention, if you use a banner, or depending on the backdrop that you use, you have to buy certain things like these. I bought these at my local hardware store there are spring clamps. This one, this one happens to be a four inch one, I believe. And these right here in the corner are three inch. It all depends on the pole that you're using it on. Uh, the ones down at the bottom on the A section, so below where you can't see, those are actually six inch. And like I said, it's simply because the pole is thicker there. And obviously I used about eight at least, not including the bottom. So if I wanted a nice, you know, stretched out firm backdrop, I would go ahead and clamp, use clamps on the bottom. Uh, so this took about eight. So I'm assuming you would need about 12 to clamp it down real well, I suppose. And these telescopic poles, the shorter it gets, the more stable it allows it to be. Overall, it's still pretty stable at its highest, eight by eight. I mean, if you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and whack it. It moves, but it hasn't fallen down. If you see, it's only the banner is swaying now. The, the backdrop itself is really sturdy. And overall, good product. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps. Hope you have a nice day.